Right, come. Come on. Come, girl. Come, come here. Good girl. girl. Oh, yeah. Do you, you want to sit behind? up behind us? Come here. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Lie down. Okay, good. We need you in the middle, but <laughs> you might just have to move back That's over. Okay. Now. I can move the camera. Just go like this. Me. <laughs> Hello, we girl. So, G'day. we got a dog. <laughs> We're absolutely peaking. <laughs> yep, Life is peaking. All downhill. I know. No, this is a plateau. It's not, <laughs> it's not one of these peaks, it's one of these. Dog, is good. house, dog. Dog, yeah. 2021 has been very kind to us, despite pandemic life. So. Oh, there's been a lot of rough bits. I know, but I don't like to focus on them. It's been lovely. We've had some gorgeous things. So this is Freya. Many of you would have met her on my Instagram because I introduced her this morning and everyone was very excited. So it's not a baby. What? Not a baby. She's our baby. <laughs> everyone's got to crucify you over that comment. Why? Because she's definitely our baby. She's our baby. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we're very happy. We're <laughs> very lucky. We've got a very good dog. We did. Yeah, didn't we? Absolutely. But I asked on my Instagram stories for some questions because I wanted to do a little Q&A with you guys. Introduce you to her. She's beautiful. I might include a little bit of B-roll so you can see her in action when she's not like Trying. fainting from the heat. Oh. You're at a shop, Frank. You can just get that lie down, please. It'll be what are, you, what are you spotted? What's that? What's that? Oh. 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 We're trying not to encourage her. <laughs> Lie down, it's okay. You're yeah, right, mate. So, a little bit about Freya is her name, our gorgeous pup. She's a Finnish Spitz, also affectionately known as Finky. <laughs> Should we be back? They what is are... a duck? <laughs> They're a vocal breed. As far as Finkies go, she's a very quiet one. Yeah, she's mm. quiet for a Finky. She just makes these little, like, come, come. noises. Come here. It's so cute. So, oh, my goodness. Freya, come here. Good girl. Good girl. Almost in shot. Almost in shot. Freya, come around here. Here. Come in here. That was good. Good girl. Okay, Lovely. you just sit up there and guard guard the street. Yeah, check it out for us. <laughs> um, so yeah, for a finished spit, she's actually quite quiet. She doesn't bark a heck of a lot unless someone is like arriving um, or there's a slightly strange noise outside, but she's pretty good. Even now, we neighbor's dog is quite yappy and she doesn't always bark when he barks. Like, she's quite, um, yeah. she's kind of getting used to it. So, she's a good wee thing. But Fine. she's also learning, I think, to use her voice a bit more with us around like she's play. A bit more confident. Yeah. And yeah. So, it's just communication is, is really the main thing. So, a little bit about Finnish Spitz breeds. Obviously, they're from Finland and they're an ancient breed. Well, and they're not like a pug or something. Yeah, like with like lots of kind of breathing difficulties. Yeah, yeah. she's generally quite a healthy wolf-like looking dog, just very small. Um, well, well, fox. We've adopted a fox. <laughs> yeah, she think. looks like a fox. Cleopatra was asking, how old is she? So she is two and a half. So it's a clear wino. Yeah, she is a rehome doggy. So we got her off someone that was looking to find a new home for her. She's not a rescue pup. We didn't go to like a pound or a shelter to get her. She came from another home, a very loving and good home for her, but there was just some circumstances outside of the person's control that meant she was just trying to look for a new home for her. So it was a very good kind of like adoption process, a very positive one, mm. and we're just so delighted. It was lucky for us. It was just luck, pure yeah. luck that I emailed at the right time because we didn't quite... <laughs> you right? You right, girl? Birds. Oh, her nemesis, birds. Cleo was also asking, how did you find her? Did you know about the breed for a while? So, no. No, it was, no, it was quite very, a recent find. Uh, yeah, we went looking for Shiba Inus. Um, it was going to be like a uh, gigantic weight. Yeah, wait list on Shibas. And what, you saw these guys? Yeah, I spotted the um, a Finky, another Finky up north that was looking for a rehome. It sounds really bad. They, they're good dogs. They don't always need rehomes. It's just, one's on. There's just a couple of situations, obviously, where people have needed it. Um, but I came across it and I was said to Alex, I was like, oh, this wee dog looks really cute. It's looking for a new home. And... Um, the breed is very similar to a Shiba, but to be honest, a little bit um, nicer. The Shibas can be very standoffish. Standoffish. Um, so it's supposed to be they're a little bit more affectionate breed, and there are a few features about her that a little bit more trainability. She certainly has an independent streak. Like if she doesn't want to. Selective hearing. 
Yeah, that'll yeah. do. That about that covers that. Nail on the head, babe. But she, you can tell she knows her name. She just like if you call her to a place where she doesn't want to go, she gets quite like mm -hmm, conflicted. Mm. Like she's like, I want to please my master, but I don't want to go in there. Like in the bathroom, she's afraid of the bathroom. Or the crate. Yeah. Or the car initially. Yeah, she's getting better at the car, but she just has these little conflicting moments where she's like, I want to please mum and dad, mm. but like also you know doesn't want to go there. So you see these little internal battles. It's very cute. So we haven't known about the breed for very long. I've been interested in like Spitz breeds as in general for a while. Oh, so cute. <laughs> this one's besotted. Um, I generally love like Spitz breeds, you know, with their little cute little floofy tail. We'll show that off at some point. Um, they've kind of got the little like husky tails on them. So, so sweet. But, um, you yeah, know, the sort of specifically Finnish Spitz, it's kind of a newer breed for us to kind of discover and learn about and we fell in love with it. So, so we looked into getting a puppy, but then the rehome option came up here for us, a different one. Good enough. It's hot. Okay. So we might get it back in later if we're yeah. lucky. We'll let her have a wee rest over there for a bit and carry on. How did you come up with the name Freya? Does it have a special significance? Well, I didn't come up with the name Freya. That was my choice. Although I do like it. Yeah, I she suggested was, it she to was you. Previously named Angel. Um, Just didn't quite sit with us as owners, did it? Mm. Like, we couldn't imagine ourselves calling her Angel. It just didn't kind of work. Um, and I've always loved the name Freya, but I could never imagine it probably for like a children's name for one of our future kids. It didn't kind of work for us in that way. So I always thought it would make a great pet name. And then when we, you know, had the opportunity to come up and I'm like, oh, she's a Finnish Spitz, like a Scandinavian name for a Scandi dog. It just totally fits. So mm. I convinced you pretty quickly that it was a well, good name. Well, it fits her really well. Name. It's a good, yeah. good, good name. It's also a really great name to um, use, like Freya. Like it's just nice and short and like nothing too complicated. Long, fancy names are not the best for dogs because they need Benedict. to... Benedict. <laughs> Exactly. I feel like short names, either one or two syllables. It's only one extra syllable good. though. I know, but there's something about it. Alexander. Yeah. It doesn't quite work. It doesn't quite work. Whereas Alex. Obviously that's taken as well. Alex so. would be a great dog name. Would it? <laughs> You're a big puppy dog. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, nothing really special or significant other than the fact that the Norse goddess, Freya, is sort of known as like the goddess of love and beauty. And she's just got so much love to give and she's absolutely beautiful so it kind of she's a stunning dog yeah she's a stunning dog she was going to be a show dog but she took a um she got a cat claw to the eye so she's actually got one dodgy eye yes yeah, partially um, blind a little bit of a yeah cataract yeah you can thing. definitely see the scar tissue in it yeah. um so her eye was damaged so she was no longer going to be a show dog yeah but she does look really badass <laughs> I think it adds to her character i like it it's part yeah. of her story scar was um, it was the backup name <laughs> And what's her full name, Alex? Freya Underfoot. Yeah, reminds me of a hobbit name. But um, that's because she likes to try and walk. It's pretty self explanatory. Yeah, isn't under it? your feet. When I'm sure there's lots of dogs that and could cats that name. and children with that name. How many dogs or puppies did you visit before you found the one? Oh, 20. But they were all on the same day. We went to that Shiba Inu. <laughs> that's um, right. But none of those, none meetup. of those were like for up for adoption or anything yeah. we just went and met we went to a Sheba party and just like met a bunch of them and they were lots of fun but they were they did seem like a lot of work and they didn't seem super affectionate and that was the difference like you met we went and met Freya when she was Angel and come check her out yeah see if we like each other and as soon as we walked in and met her like I was just like yes my heart melted she was mm. really like, like we were new people and of course she barked at us coming in but then she was like sniff you out oh you're nice and then like let us like pat her and she was just so affectionate um but she just still had that kind of sassy look about her which i loved so it was kind of like the best of both worlds like a really loving and affectionate sheba which i think is just perfect um the next question is good do you use baby talk with dogs or just your regular voice um well you've heard anna's Baby voice. I just use my regular voice, I'd say. I use my regular voice when I'm trying to get her to do something or like respond to me. But then when I'm just like showing her love, I get a bit... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, we're still so... He's training me. Yeah. We both as owners need training as well as Freya. Um, 
I don't think there's anything wrong though with just being like, oh, you're a good girl. Well, I think it's okay, but it's just the circumstance, right? Exactly. If you're trying to... Well, I'm not ever using that when I'm trying to get her to do something. I'll say like, Freya, come. That's not baby voice. Mm. That's just high-pitched, I'm happy. I'm not angry at you voice. Mm. I know, so you're good about it now, but she has a real tendency to like hype dogs up. <laughs> She's so excited. Um, and it tends to give dogs a bit of like anxiety. She's a good girl. Dogs are not people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dogs are dogs. Alright. No, but a little tiny bit of baby voice does come out. Not very much, though. I don't think you can help it. I can't. Literally, it's from my mum. My mum uses the same. And then when you meet my grandma, she's the same. She's mm. like, who's grandma's we girl? Mm. So and it's just like dogs well behaved? Yeah, they are. You're so rude. They are so the goodest of girls. So someone's asking why this breed... Basically, it just... We just fell into yeah, it. Yeah, fell into it. It's one of those things where the opportunity came up. We're like, we love her breed. Yeah, we looked up about the breed. We're ready for a dog now. Yeah. We've moved, we're moving into our new house. And we've, you got a job. We're dead keen. I'm getting a dog. And it was just the right opportunity. Yeah. Do you let her sleep in the bed? Always said we would, always said we would never, but now it's every night. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing face. Yeah. Um, no, we have some boundaries. So, of course, we love her and we just want to, like, shower her in affection, which means, you, like, we're the type of people that, like, she can be on the couch and in our, you know, our mm. spaces. But up I cuddles. don't want her sleeping overnight in the bed because, I mean, that's our bed. I think it's really important for her to learn, like, you know, her place in the family. Like, she is absolutely loved and, and treasured, water. but she doesn't get the master bedroom bed. Um, we'll let her up on it in the mornings and at night time she can have a little snuggle before she goes to bed but then we take her mm. through and originally we were crating her because she had been crate trained but she did not like our crate and she was mm. very not well she was a bit scared of going in it but once she was in it she was actually fine but I just found I was like I don't want to be like traumatizing my dog like she seemed very scared about going into it so now she just sleeps on the couch we, here. We might go back to the crate. We had, um, this morning she came through at like 3.30, which was a pain. And yesterday morning she came through at 6 o'clock. Yeah, Both but, of which are too early. But take, and if she continues a... to do that, we're going to put her back in the crate. And <laughs> Anna's just going to have to deal. She was very good today. When she came through at 3.30, she tried her luck. She obviously woke up and was like, oh, I'm going to go see mum and dad. So she came in and I just got up. I went to the bathroom myself because I was awake then and then I put her and I came to put her here and she was already back in a wee spot. So she knew, she mm -hmm. knew, she was like, mm. no, I'm not sleeping with the door shut. No. I leave that open. Yeah, so. but I think if she'll she keeps do. coming through. Okay. Okay. She'll go in the crate. But then you have to make her love the crate because I don't want her Yeah, we'll train her into it. Absolutely. Mm. We need a new crate. Might DIY something really beautiful. What are some of the typical characteristics of the breed? Um, so Finnish Spitzes are hunting dogs. They are specifically bred to chase down birds. The bird will sit in the tree. The dog comes up and barks at it and to distract. And potentially gets into the tree. To distract the bird. Or they, they might climb. She was climbing today, which was very impressive. Anyway, they bark at the bird. The bird looks at the dog and then the hunter comes up behind and gets the bird. She's ve she still very much has that tendency. Because she'll be very good at like... On the beach. Working yeah. on her lead on the beach. Like we're getting... Um, that's something she's not super well lead, lead trained. Because she lived on a farm. So she got all her exercise just sort of running around the farm. As opposed to going on like um, managed walks. Uh, so that's something we're having to work on is her lead training. But she's, she's doing so much better until she sees a bird. And when she sees a seagull on the beach she just goes mad and it's very hard to get her to come back so she, she stays better she stays she, on her lead hasn't even moment. been two weeks yet i know we i have to remind ourselves that so we still keep her on her long lead she's got one of those expandable leads that goes like five meters we use those for walking so she can still feel like she's getting a little bit of a run around like at the beach but means that she won't run away on us because she, her recall is limited doesn't exist <laughs> she's doing way better doesn't exist it didn't exist at all when we first got her. I feel like she's getting better. She's gone from a zero to a point oh one. Yeah, she's getting there. But um, I hope that we'll be able to one day let her off, and especially in like an enclosed sort of space, mm. like dog parks. We went. To I reckon that'd today. be right. Yeah. Yeah, but like at the beach where she could run over the dunes and go on the road, I'm like, oh, no, too scared. She does love the water though, which is so good because as you know, we've moved into a place that's quite close to the beach, and that's where we go for a lot of our walks. 
and she is not afraid of the water anymore. She's a bit tentative of the waves when we first sort of mm. put her in, but she is running through it now. Um, doesn't like to get her body dirty or wet though. She's not a dog that goes to the beach and rolls around in the sand or anything, which to be honest, I'm really thankful of because mm. she's very clean. We just have to get home and you know dry off her paws and her underbelly, and then she can jump all over the white couch and white, white bedding. <laughs> So right, we've got a sand-coloured couch coming very soon, which is going to be perfect colour for both her hair and, and the beach. And it's going to be big. And it's big. We have, um, we tried to have, we did have cuddles, all three of us. On this couch. On this couch, and it was like quite packed. It's like a little two-bed, like it's a two two-seater couch yeah. that folds out into a bed. And it was very lovely. It's very it was cute. It a really nice evening. The three of us all sat up. But it was pretty squishy. Our big couch is like a four. Or like five seater modular yeah, number. Huge. So cool. Gotta say goodbye. All right, come here. Good girl. Come. Come on, girl. In here. Pick a ball. Psh. In here. Try to come. Sit down. Sit. Good, Good girl. Stay up. Stay up. <laughs> She's Manly. sleepy, wee puppy. Sleepy and hot. Anyway. Oh. Say goodbye. Bye bye. She's out of shot. Yeah, throw up here. Throw up. Up. Come on. Come here. Put your arm down. Back up. Good girl. Good girl. That's the one. There you go. All right, hop out of the way. Yeah, all right. Just... See ya. Bye. There you go. <laughs> Hello, Frey Frey. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Not 100% sure what that is. I need to look at my schedule. Probably something home related. Yes, I need to show you guys around what we've been do doing so far. Stay tuned. All right. Love you and leave you. Bye. Your line. Oh. I'm not sure about that. Is that. What is this? Hello, gorgeous girl. Yeah. Oh, there's Show your fluffy the tail. tail action. And a wee tag. So cute. Freya. You're so beautiful. Our beautiful doggy. We love you. All right, let's open these windows in my other page. Oh. Yep. Thanks, hun, for doing right. that. Thank you, Freya. Thanks, Freya. You're so good. Mm -hmm.